This is Dr. Mariah White, host of Your Life Matters. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Hey, this is Lee. And this is Chelsea. And we are the host of your new favorite sales podcast, See Jane Sell. Join us every Thursday for a new episode where we will tackle the realistic world of sales and maybe teach you a thing or two along the way. You can subscribe to CJ and Cell on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, CastBox, and Spotify. Thanks, and enjoy the following podcast on Public House Media. The energy you put out in the world always comes back to you. Welcome to Choose to Rise. Welcome to Public House Media, where we are here today talking about the secrets of life, the pieces of how you respond to the world, how you um, show up in this world. And one of the secrets to life is finding success. It is in servant leadership. Two words here, servant leadership is going to help you find more success in this world than anything else. The energy you put out into the world always comes back to you. So what are you putting out there? What are you helping other people with? What are you are able to achieve in this world by doing more for other people? I know when I tend to help other people out, it just helps me feel better. And there's really nothing bad in this world about helping other people. And when when you, I kind of that boomerang effect of like, when you can put something out there, when you can be humble and you can serve someone else, that always gives that you that good feeling that you've helped someone else, but also that just more, it kind of spreads that positivity. It's a compound effect of that pay it forward method. And it's just a way for you to be able to spread more positivity out in this world and do more for other people. And it helps you feel amazing as well. Today, I'm going to share with you a few tidbits from the book Coffee Bean, a few pieces from that book that is coming out here in May, I believe, um, here at the end of the month. Coffee Bean is a com- combination uh, book author from John Gordon and Damon West. And it's an amazing story, and I highly encourage you to go get the book when it comes out or pre-order. I've got mine on pre-order, and I can't wait to listen to it on Audible. Um, also, but just have the book in hand and read it as it goes. It is going to be phenomenal. I was able to listen to uh, Damon West speak with John Gordon's Power of Positive Summit that just happened at the end of a couple weeks ago, at the end of April 2019. And every April, John Gordon does this Power of Positive Summit um, where he sends out emails every day with amazing speakers, amazing speakers, like all my mentors in the world where I listen to. And it's just been so awesome to um, just dive deeper into some of the concepts and some of the content that the speakers gave. And it's just an amazing resource. So next April, put on your calendar right now, next April, watch for Power of Positive Summit. I'm sure I'll share about it here too. It's just a, a phenomenal free thing. Um, that happens at the end of April every year. And um, yeah, so we're today we're going to be talking about coffee bean and some of the his tips. And we've been kind of in a series. Last time, um, I talked about working out for life. And today we're talking about servant leadership and how servant leadership is the way of doing things. When you want more out of life, serving other people, finding humbleness in yourself and moving forward is one of the ways that's going to help you achieve the most out of life. Helping other people achieve goals in life is helping you achieve goals too. We are put on this earth to be good stewards. We are put on this earth to love our love our neighbors, love God, love this earth, love everything around it. And when we can serve other people, that's when we're really fulfilling our mission. And when you're helping someone else out, you're really helping yourself achieve your goals. When you can help other people reach what they want to achieve. So like when my job, my business, I help other women achieve greatness by improving their health, improving their confidence, improving their um, financial situations by encouraging other people to get healthy and to live life well. And so when I help other women achieve their goals, it helps me achieve my goals too, because my mo- my mission in this world is to help as many people as possible rise up out of their current situation and live their best life, which is one of the reasons why I do this podcast every day. And one of the reasons why I'm so grateful to Public House Media and Mana FM and all of my listeners and all of the people that plug in every single day. Thank you so very much. It not only helps me fulfill my mission, but I hopefully it helps you live out your best life too, because you're able to take this forward and do a compound effect of passing it along, of sharing it on social media, letting other people hear about it and know more about how they can improve their life as well. Simple acts of service leadership 
Uh, I'm going to share with you today some tips from one of my mentors, John Maxwell. So the concept comes from Damon West with his book, Coffee Bean. But really, a servant leadership is nothing new. It's something that I learned a lot about in my administrative career and in, in just life in general. And anybody can be a servant leader. Everyone can show up in a way to lead their life, whether they're leading, leading a business, whether they're leading a classroom, whether they're leading a household, whether they're just leading their own life. Um, you can be whatever it is to your own world. You can be a servant leader in that aspect. So today I'm going to share with you some tips, some things that you can do, some strategies that you can use from one of my mentors, John Maxwell, um, from his book that is the Developing a Leader Within You 2.0. So I love personal development. It's one of the things that has completely changed my life. It's something that I do daily, something that I make sure it's a non-negotiable in my world to get some sort of personal development in. When I can grow my mind, when I can add value to my heart and my mind and really learn how I can improve my life, that's when I get to know what to do for other people too. And I can serve others better by improving myself. And so I have more of myself to give when I know myself more than when I just am going through the motions and staying stuck in my life. So ways, some guidelines, some things that you can practice daily as well to become a better servant leader. Number one is don't rely on your position or your title. So I'm super grateful for the accomplishments I've had in my life. I'm super grateful for the way that, you know, God's provided me some resources and some people and some things, opportunities in this world. But there's also like, you just can't take advantage or, or um, rely on that title, that position that, that, Hey, I'm your leader or Hey, I'm your coach. Like you have to be able to uh, really lean in and respect the situation that you're in and be grateful for where you're at. And by serving other people is how you got there. And by serving other people is how you're going to continue to have those accomplishments. So don't rely on your position or your title. Learn to love other people. Learn to seek out other people's potential. And that's the second one. Choose to believe in people and their potential. I care so much about people and what they're doing in their life. I want them to succeed. I want them to find their purpose in this world. I want them to live out their best life. But there's also a practical reason for believing in people. I've found that the more people I believe in people's potential and the more I serve them, the more their potential increases. And that's a win for everyone. When everyone starts to level up and when everyone can start to serve other people to level up as well, it's like that rising water in the harbor raises all ships. So when I can help other people rise up out of their current situation to live their best life, raise up the water around them, it brings the people around them to to a better level as well. So that's number two. Number three is trying to see things from the perspective of other people. When you are focusing in on just your own perspective of your own vision, your own lens of things, we're missing out on so much in this world. It's possible to lead and serve others well only when you are you know their minds and hearts. I intentionally try to connect with people and try to see it from their point of view as well. So that way I can serve them better. I can help them learn better. I can bridge the gaps better for people when I'm doing that. But I can also learn myself and see things from a different lens helps me, you know, expand my own perspective of life as well. And when you can take the opportunity to learn something and shift your own mindset and grow out of your own comfort zone, it's you're, you're doing that in the same sense of helping someone else grow out of theirs as well. So it's a beautiful thing. Number four is I work to create an environment of encouragement. Few things are better than being a team of people who desire to serve one another. And that is one of the most beautiful things about my job is that I have a team. I have a complete community of people who are empowering and encouraging and truly want people to get better. They truly want women on our team to empower them and serve them and encourage them. And they really, truly want them to get better. They want us to all improve on our health, reach our goals, whether that's physical goals, mental goals, emotional goals, financial goals, whatever it might be. But really just being a part of a community and growing that community and having a bigger impact on this world where we're willing to serve other people and encourage others to serve spirit of cooperation and is where it really all emerges for a one for all and all for one kind of mentality. This makes the environment positive and develops a sense of loyalty among team members. And when we are all working together, there's, I know for a fact that none of the women in my group would ever back down. Like if they saw one of us in, in trouble or Uh, just not showing up in in our own journey or in our life at all. Like we notice when people go silent, we notice when people are just not showing up and we reach out and care because we do care. We are friends. We are family. We are all a part of this mission together. And when you, someone else's ship starts to sink, 
we come along with our tide and help rise them up again. We are in this together, linking arms, moving forward in a positive way. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about this community. It's helped me rise up out of current situations multiple times and they're just being a part of it. And that servant leader mindset is the thing that has really helped all of us encourage and, and be supported in that way. And the last one to, you can do as a daily exercise is you know, measure your success with how much value you've added to others. When you decide to be a serving servant leader, when you decide to um, serve other people and help other people be successful, remember that you, when you experience a change in thinking, you're helping other people experience that same thing. And so how much value are you adding to other people? That can be your measuring stick. A lot of times, you know, in my business, you know, sometimes there's not like numeric goal that's changed in the day. But when I really think about changing my measure, um, when I'm thinking about what it is that how I've made an impact in the day, that's really uh, a better measure of how my day has gone. So I may not have made a, a quote unquote sale. I may, I may not added someone to my team, but when I've impacted and I've helped other people in my team rise up out of their current situation to live their best life, I've helped them elevate their business. I've helped them elevate their day, their mindset. I've helped them encourage them and support them through a struggle in their life. That means I've added value to them. And that means my world is better because of it too because I like to surround myself with people who are going places, who are helping other people, who are doing these same kinds of things that have a servant leader mindset as well. I feel like when they succeed, I succeed. And I get so excited when they find success. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not encouraging and supporting and celebrating somebody for doing something amazing in our team page and being a part of our community. And so if that's something that sounds like something that's interesting to you, if you want to learn more about that, I would love to chat with you about it. So head over to choosetoriseup.com, fill out the connect with me section there or in my social media at Choose to Rise Up on Instagram, KJP Meyer. I have a link in my bio there that you can um, check it out and be a part of the community. I work with people who are in the United States, in the United Kingdom and in Canada. And so I know there are lots of listeners from all over. Um, in Mana Hungary and Mana FM in Hungary, Budapest, Hungary, and lots of people from all over the world that listen into my station. Um, and I appreciate all of you. And I would love for you just to be a part of our social media, be a part of the tribe there, plug in and connect and see how I can serve you and how I can help elevate you. And, and in turn, you being there and supporting the, the program, sharing this on social media, helping other people learn about it. It just fills my heart so much. The, the simple things you can do is screenshot this podcast and share it on your social media and tag me. K-J-P-M-E-Y-E-R. And that just it helps me know that I'm making an impact with you. And it helps me know that you're valuing what we're doing here. So thank you so much for joining me today. And again, if you want to connect with me more, head over to choosetoriseup.com. You can find me there also on Facebook, Choose to Rise Up, or you can just, you know, plug in here every single day. Make sure you share Public House Media with your friends and check out the other amazing podcasts that we have here on the network. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see you again here next time and talk to you all later. Bye.